Welcome to the very first episode of how to make a computer. This topic has been highly requested, so I figured I'd go ahead and make this new YouTube series on how to build a computer that goes deeper than what I can do through shorts. If you're new to this, don't worry, I added schematics in the description, so if you wanted to follow along, the only thing you'd really need to know is how electricity works and how breadboard works. And if you don't have parts, those are also linked in the description below. Computers! Where does it all start? I would say the logic gate. You can make logic gates in many different ways, but the important thing is that they will always have the same logical behavior. Let's look at this primitive logic gate called AND. The idea is that we have two inputs and one output. Each logic gate has something called a truth table. The truth table lets us see every combination of input and what the output should be. As you can see, everything is a zero and a one. Zero just means off, so for an input that would mean the switch is off or the button is isn't clicked. A 1 would be the opposite, so the switch is on or you're pressing the button. The output for now will be visualized with a light. So if the output is a 1, that means the light will be on. Let's look at Anne's truth table. When analyzing a truth table, it is always best to look for the outputs that have a value of 1. In this case of AND, that is just one row. It's where every value is 1. If you haven't caught on, the name AND refers to input 1 and input 2 are both on. Pretty much all of these primitive logic gates will have direct names that reflect what the output should be. Well, let's build AND. If you'd like to follow along, here's the AND circuit that I'm following. Using this breadboard, I made the AND gate using two transistors. I'm using buttons as my inputs and LED as an output. Let's test everything with this truth table, starting with everything as zeros. With A and B as zero, the LED is off. That seems to be correct. Let's move on to the next row. A needs to be on and B is off. Seems to be working. Next row is A is off, B is on. That is correct. And finally, the moment of truth, A and B on. It seems to be working. The output is on. All right, so that was one of the first building blocks to building a computer, the AND gate. However, you can't just make a computer out of AND gates. So let's take a look at this other gate. It is called the OR gate. As you can see, the input side is still the same. The output is what's changed. This is the purpose of logic gates. You have the same inputs, but the output reflects something different. Like the AND gate, the OR gate name reflects something similar to what the output will be. This time, it is if any input is on, the output will be on. So let's build this. If you'd like to follow along, here's the OR circuit that I'm following. All right, the circuit's complete. Let's test it with the truth table. Row one states that A and B are off. Row two states that input A is on and the light should be on. Next is row three, input B is on and the light is on. Finally, input A and B and the light's still on. Okay, so there's one last logic gate that I must introduce us to. It is actually the easiest and most simple. So let's look at this truth table. As you can see, it only has one input this time. This is known as the inverter, also known as the NOT gate. It's very simple and plays a very crucial role in the computer world. This will be the last gate that we're building from scratch. Although it is more efficient to build other gates and circuits directly with transistors, it will be much easier to understand what is happening when we just use the simple three and or and NOT gates. Anyway, let's build this. Pause now for the NOT gate circuit. All right, it's done. Since we only have one input and one output, it's pretty simple to test. Just turning it on, we can see that the first row of the truth table is actually correct. We aren't pressing the button and the light is already on. So now for the moment of truth, does this work? I'll say that works. We officially have made an AND or a NOT gate. All right, we just learned three 
very basic logic gates, the and, or, and not. The next episode we'll be talking about the practical application of these logic gates, so I know we didn't really like dive into it this video, but we needed to know what they are and how to build them. I really hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope to release one of these every single Monday. I would love to see if anybody followed along, so please leave a comment uh, about your experience. And um, I guess that's it. So I'll, I'll see you in the next video.